Hi, this is Master Jambai. Welcome to this new replay commentary. I hope you guys will enjoy Lash vs. Sammy because when I look back, there is a serious lack of Lash showcase on my channel. And I do enjoy Lash a lot. She's a very fun seal. She's a really good seal. She's a really tricky seal when it comes to her super. Now our day to day is very simple, it's very easy to use, but a good prime tactics, it's always harder to find and get and use. Some people see Lash, oh, OP, she's easy to use, no she is not. Now I've seen a lot of Flash player, she's popular, but based on what I see, I don't see that many good Lash player, because there is the Lash player and the good Lash player. It's the sad truth. You can win with her, but still being bad at playing the seal. You just win because you have better strat, and she has a really good day to day. That's why you won. But do you fully understand Lash? That's the question. Now, this was Global League back in January. I hate this map. I'm done seeing this map. And yeah. We will read the chart and then we will read Bold Profile. Lash! Unit gain plus 10% attack for every terrain star. Note, air unit are unaffected by terrain. Terrain tactics for 4 stars. Movement cost for all terrain is reduced to 1 except in snow. Prime tactics for 7 stars. Terrain stars are doubled, attack and defense. Movement cost over all terrain is reduced to 1 except in snow. So, there are 3 types of prime tactics that are actually good. And if you meet the three types, your Prime Tactics was amazing. If you meet two, it was good. If you only meet one, it was fine, I guess. Case number one. You can break the map. Skip forest, skip river, skip mountain. You're happy about that. Case number one, out of the way. Case number two. You can capture several good property. Neutral or enemy, it doesn't matter. As long as you get good money out of that prime tactics. Now, why capturing? That's not Sammy. I know, but she's really hard to kill on buildings. With her uh, buff in the stars, she basically becomes combine for a turn. Maybe a bit weaker or stronger, I really don't know fully the full power of Flash. But if you capture a lot of building, it will be really hard for your opponent to enter up that cap. They will be able to delay it. But most of the time, if you are smart, you may get the buildings. And even there, even if you fail, you force your opponent into using other things than infantries. Because if they try to use infantries to enter up your cap, they will get slapped really hard. Now, the third case of a good Lash Super. You can take good engagement from rough terrain or high star terrain. Cities, forest, mountain. If you attack from road or plain, river, shoal, it's pretty weak. But if you have good engagement and you can get good volume on cities, forest, and mountain, you can consider it. it. You don't lose anything from that. It will be really good. Now, as I said, if you meet all three good condition, you did a good prime tactics. Now, if you meet only one, it can be better. And you see, you should hold your Prime Tactics for the right moment. The Prime Tactics 
It cannot flip the table. You cannot suddenly win with Prime Tactics. You can get a good lead, a good advantage, but if you are only losing state, Prime Tactics won't save your day. It's not double damage. It's not the easy button to push. It's a super that requires skills. Now, let's read my uh, opening seal, Sammy. Sammy! Foot Soldier gain plus 30% attack and plus 50% capture point bonus. Run it down. Other direct unit lose minus 10% attack. Friend sport gain plus 1 movement. Double time for 3 stars. Foot Soldier gain plus 1 movement and their attack is increased to 50. Victory march. Foot Soldier gain plus 2 movement and their attack is increased to 70. Foot Soldier can capture building instantly even with 1 HP. Now, I see a lot of semi player. And I will tell you this. Around 90% of them are trash. They don't know how to use Sammy and they they think Victory March is the thing. I will never say Victory March is bad, but if you rely on Victory March, you are not a good Sammy player. You don't understand your steel. You think it's just a push button, which is not the case. If you go to higher ratings, I don't think if they do tier 4 and if they play Sammy, I don't think they will rely on their victory march. I don't think so. Now, am I, I rated? Not really. I, I, I'm 950, I mean. And I don't always hold 950. But I don't think a good Sammy rely on her super. And. Here's the why. If you are losing, even Victory March will not save your day. That's the sad truth. Sammy is very important with her unit count. She needs a good unit count. And if there's a stalemate, if both players have same income, same army, Sammy will have a hard time winning. So, with everything being said, I do think Double Time is very underrated, underappreciated by players. Players don't consider Double Time, they think, oh, a victory match and a win. No. You don't think like that and win. Now, Double Time is also tricky to use. You need good engagement infantry on infantry or mech on other units or you need to capture a lot of buildings even if it's not in one turn you will pressure your opponent and force him into using more than one unit to interrupt your gap so double time very underrated people don't think about it because they all think about victory march the cheaper and easier way to win but it's not always working this way. So, here we are. This Dindy Forge. Sammy Adder, Jess, Racho, Grit. 700, uh, 14 wins, 47 defeat. Now, based on that card, I can tell that guy is a bad Sammy player. Sammy is very underrated, she's underappreciated, she's really strong. In Fog, she's considered tier 4, but I consider her tier 3. She belongs in tier 3. Because she's tricky to use, and she's really strong, and she can compete with Drake. It's crazy to say, but I do think a good Sammy player don't really care about Typhoon. He will just smash Drake and... Have a better economy, a better lead, and laugh at Typhoon when it comes out. But that's my take. Now let's let's give another matchup. Sammy versus Andy. I think it's kinda hard for Sammy because Andy can recover. 
but Sammy clearly has domination in the capture game. She will clearly have a really good early game advantage. So when I see 49 Sammy, this means he probably plays a lot of Sammy, even in tier 4, in tier 1, in tier 2. And that's fine, but don't expect to be tier 1 with Sammy. Come by, shall have bases. Official rating 950.7. 205 wins, 205 defeats. Eagle, Drake, Jess, Javier, Stern. I made it. 950. Next goal, maybe one day I will reach 1000. I fought a lot of 1000. They did win. But the fights were intense. They were close. Cannot wait to record the replay commentaries. They will be amazing. So let's see how it goes. I will be fast on the first two turn. Classic opening. Lack of Flander move. But I am also guilty of that. Oh, actually, he didn't move his ladder there, which is much better than me. Bow, 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 artery out. Bow, bow, very interesting turns. A lot of infantries and no artillery so far. Battlecopter, maybe it will be uh, sent to kill my Raycon. 21k, very interesting. Capture the airport, capture the building, capture... Capture, 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 capture. So it doesn't want the tower or the airport. So maybe he doesn't want me to get charged. But here's the thing. Having access to two airport is really strong. Having access to one tower is really strong. So I don't think it's worth it. What do you think about this strat? Maybe he decided he doesn't want to bother my unit to not charge my uh, meter. Bow, bow. Okay, Battlecopter spam, it's wrong. Tanks are better than Battlecopters. Battlecopters are a good surprise gift. They come in, they kill a tank, they damage a tank, they entropy cap, they damage a Raycon. You're happy. You're like, ha ha ha, I made it. But if you spam them, your opponent comes in with an empty air and say, Oh, Copter? Oh, Copter? So, um, don't capture spam, just don't do it. Ba 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 No, I think it crashed. Wait. It didn't crash. The guy actually went AFK. Okay. Maybe he resigned? That was the last turn?
Now, I just spent like two hour recording replays. I am about to finish Uran vs. the World series, and it will be out soon. So I guess I will still keep this one, even if it's short. And it's more about an opening. Okay. I hope guys still enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. We will see each other in future video. Have a great day.